Okay, hello. I'm here with my side hair. I don't know what's going on here. And um, I didn't take my notes properly, so this is going to be a little disheveled. But I, I feel like I'm salivating at, at the mouth. I want to get this out. First of all, I'm not going to talk about the baby mom's book. I don't know anything about it. Neither does anybody else report about it. People are making videos. They don't have any facts, real clues about anything. And the videos are incomplete. So I try to only talk about shit that's kind of complete. None of this is complete because we're not in these people's lives. But, you know, I'm going to focus today on the name change and some stuff, little byproducts along with that. Well, I can officially say that Keisha has changed the name back to Keisha Kaylee because we can see that. Uh, I think that was real smart. Um, no matter what hood rat dumb decision, I'm, I'm being, let me ask. No matter what misguided decisions you may be making, or she may be making in her life as in reference to him personally, for the business end, great decision. Make it back your name and keep it moving. Whether you decide to keep him in the channel and he keeps earning his respect back, or you decide to phase him on out and make it about you and the three girls, you know how many vid, you can completely change your image from trying to be the married wife with three kids to now single mom with three kids and being successful. It's a whole lot of single moms, and it's a whole world of people who want to see that. And it's a whole world of people who are married who want to see married content. But if that's not where your life is going, rebrand, renew, start getting these girls little sponsorships. I've, I've, this is what I've gotten from, well, not other content creator stuff, but I listen to everybody. And I've gotten a little piece of this idea from it. But yeah, start, do what these, do what these white folks do. Start getting your kids, uh, I'm so old, y'all, Oshkosh Bagosh. Get these girls some Oshkosh Bagosh and uh, start having them wear these clothes and get paid. She may be doing it now. I don't think so. Start making it single mom, fam successful mom family channel. If he can't, if you change the name because you're seeing that he can't be rehabilitated, that's fine. But from a business standpoint, great decision changing the name back to Keisha Kaylee. That was very smart. No niggle. Who is not your husband should have been sharing that name that you created anyway. So, smart decision. I heard somebody else saying she shouldn't have done it in the first place. I'm not going to let myself focus this time on what she should have done. She did it. It's done. That's done. Let's move forward and try to make better decisions going forward. So, that was a really good decision changing it back. I don't know if she's going to speak on it. Oh, that'll be interesting. And I'll make some commentary about that. So... Y'all, I'm broke. Can y'all give me a thumbs up? Because uh, I'm trying to get my little subscriber count up. I'm trying to get me a little coin. I'm at the thrift store right now. I wish I could show you, but I can't flip my camera around. Because I'm broke. I even got a broke phone. Anyway. That's Princess back there. Say hi, girl. Hey. hey. That's my little homie. From way back, like 23 years. That's when I had her. <laughs> anyway, let me go to the sub point. So she changed the channel back. Real happy about that because in the end Keisha is the only one feeding those girls I said it she needs to make sure her business is on point if you're losing subscribers if you're losing viewers you are effing with the business we can't mess with the business we got to feed them girls okay, we got to feed these girls his name don't need to be on there maybe he told her to do it maybe it's all good whatever we got to feed the girls so Back to, let me go on to my little secondary points. Um, common sense. So, okay, this is a rumor. Because I don't have proof, or she hasn't come out, or the T channels hasn't, haven't proven this. But it's a rumor that Jeremy has actually really been spending a lot of time with the baby mom, the other one. And not just visiting the baby, and some things have been going on. That's a rumor. But to that rumor, I will say, a doy, 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 doy. If the person you're with <laughs> had a baby with somebody else and you have let this man off by himself to make all the phone calls to the baby mom, to do all the visits, if he effed up and got this woman pregnant, 
he can't be trusted for a pretty long time. But if you've now continued to let him to have, have the freedom to be trusted, he can't be trusted. He had a baby with a woman. You can't trust him. You do have to treat him like a baby because for a lot of reasons. But you do have to treat him like a baby. You have to watch his move. You have to be the one to monitor the telephone calls. You need to be checking the phone records. You need to be going on those visits with him. Yeah, he had a baby with a woman. You can't now say, I'm going to trust you to make the right decisions. He's not capable of being trusted. So, if, And I have heard in the videos her say that. She is trusting him to be a grown-up. She says she doesn't get involved in those phone calls. No. He had the baby with her. You can't now trust him. He needs to be monitored for a very long time, for like two years. He's not really capable of being left alone to make the right decision. That's not going to happen. And you never should have left him alone to make... What are these folks doing? To make the... Okay, I'm supposed to doing something weird. To make the right decision. Once the man had a baby with another woman while you're in the same household together, unprotected, no condom broke, I said it, you can't then say, I'm going to trust you to do right because maybe you cried a little bit and we went to therapy. Even if he wants to do right, he can't be left alone with this woman in this position because he doesn't have control over himself. I mean, damn, I mean, you don't suddenly get control nine months later. So that's, that's one thing I'll say that. If it's now coming out that he's been doing that, duh. He shouldn't have been left alone in the phone call. If you made the decision to stay with this man, you really have to monitor his actions because he can't be trusted and he has no control over himself. So we'll see. We're going to see coming up if that comes out. Uh, let's see. Okay, I already said all that. What I will say for the little bit I've seen with the baby mom Keisha done went from this businesswoman. Well, damn it, I don't want to say it. Keisha made the the father of Keisha's children is somebody who did not fit in with her business mold. He never should have been. That Jeremiah boy didn't either. But this boy never should have even been a part of the business model. So now, a young man who never should have been a part of the business model, who has no business, he can't, he's not performing at your level of business. He's now bringing your, so he's here. This is what Snoop Dogg talked about, levels. You're up here in business. I'm not talking about making personal decisions. That's a whole other thing with her. That's, those, those are not good decisions. Business stuff. She up here, he's down here. As this crap has been happening and you brought this person into your life, you're, you have to come down, right, to drag him up. But he can't go up. He's not capable. So he starts to either stay there or sink down. And you got to keep bringing your business model down to meet his low level. And now there's a baby mama involved who appears to be at his same low level. So now you have these two hood radish people involved in your business model. You are, So now you have a hanger on bringing your brand down. When you already had the hanger on who's the baby daddy bringing the brand down. So it's just, but it's done. You can't undo it. But, yeah, changing the name was definitely the, the best bet because it's a lot of things that are now have, that have happened that can't be undone. You can't undo the children, but children are a blessing, so I'm going to leave that alone. Um, I always, I told a friend of mine this, and I've told people this, and my mom told me this, you know, who left this earth the day after my birthday, February 2nd. She said, and she just said it, it wasn't even being funny. She said, some niggas just like hoes. There's nothing wrong with liking hoes. I don't necessarily see anything wrong with being a hoe. Jeremy likes hoes. Keisha is wholesome. I think they got it mixed up. He thought she was he was getting a hoe, but no, it's like he he read it wrong. She's wholesome, but she's not a hoe. Um Again, in my opinion, he saw a good opportunity with her. Good money-making opportunity and may have genuinely liked her. But Jeremy likes hoes. And Jeremy really likes from some research I was doing. He likes him some light-skinned, pretty hair hoes. Keisha is not a light-skinned, pretty hair hoe. Keisha is a beautiful chocolate girl who's successful, who's about her business. Um, no matter what you do, no matter how many tattoos you start getting, 
no matter if you start trying to overly hood it up, even if you get some wavy weave, you ain't going to never be the hoe that he craves. And you shouldn't be. Are you fucking crazy? That would be nuts. Don't start going in that direction to keep a man happy. Aspiring to be like the hoe he likes is not the direction we need to be going in life. Fuck that nigga. You know any mixed, pretty... I'm just using the N-word not a lot, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be representing something better than that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was, it's frustrating. Do you know how many mixed, light-skinned boys, men, there are here to play with? You don't have to settle for this one. And I don't think she's ever going to be his cup of tea. He likes what he likes. He like hoes. He like light-skinned pretty. It, it, or he's just pretty. He like light-skinned pretty hair hoes. She ain't going to never be that. But guess what? Even though she ain't his cup of tea, she is a cup of tea for somebody else out here. It's some strong brother out here who got his business on point, got his life together, and he want him a petite, cute little chocolate girl, and that's Keisha. And she's she's good for somebody, actually for a lot of good guys out here. But it ain't this boy Jeremy. She ain't what he like. Jeremy like them hoes. He like to be out in them streets with them hoes. Keisha is not what he likes. But a lot of good men are. A lot of good men are, how do I, I'm, I'm saying it wrong. Keisha is the right fit for some good men out here who don't like hoes, who want a good woman, who want a businesswoman, who want a woman, who wants a woman with her head on her shoulders. But that's not what he wants. And yes, she got three kids now. A lot of good women got three kids and go on to marry and have good relationships with a different man. A lot of people don't end up who they started out with. But you can still find somebody else. Even with three kids. It does make it a little bit harder. But you still can. So. He is kind of obvious to me. She is not what he actually wants. And I know it's obvious to a lot of people. But it doesn't mean she's not what a whole lot of other good men want. She, she's a good viable woman for other good men. But not this man. Mm -mm. And my last point. Oh that was it. I, I, I covered it all. But uh, name change. Uh. Smart business move. Whatever you decide to do in your personal life, it's going to be what it's going to be. But that name change on that channel, that has to do with branding. And he's bringing your brand down. So if nothing else, you at least change the name. And it's her choice whether or not to keep him in the videos, whatever. But that name change, and not having that name associated with her channel, brand name is extremely effing important. You got three mouths to feed, and he ain't feeding them. So, very smart decision. If nothing else, very smart decision. Okay, let me go. <laughs> I broke ass to go to do some thrift shopping. Uh, bye.